hey guys welcome back to the channel so i hope you guys are doing well so there is a question from chandru hi brother could you please make a video on a store procedure returns list of users and each user having a list of projects and receive it on c sharp so if you see we have created a lot of methods in past uh, which will consume the employee model and it will return the list of employee or employee based on the id okay so let's see what this model is actually so let's go to the model and if you see we have employee id employee name all those details okay so according to his requirement he need a project list of project for each employee okay so what we can do is we can simply add one uh, project here okay so we can write the string and then projects okay so that that sounds good so let's go to the database and create one store procedure so we are in the database and if you see we already have a table called uh, employee which we are already using right so what we have to do is we have to do some slight uh, modification to this table or we can modify the other table which we are going to create now that is project table okay so let's create a table called uh, project so create project table okay so let's create so create table let's name it as a uh, project okay we'll have ideally uh, or uh, three fields what i'm thinking as of now is so let's see so the first is going to be the project id which will be of integer type and uh, it will be of identity column okay uh, second one is going to be the project name it will be of uh, varchar let's say 100 the third column what i'm thinking is we can keep the employee id here so every project id will be associated with some employee id okay so let's keep that uh, employee id right and this will be of uh, integer and this can be null so maybe some projects are not required to be associated with some employees so let's uh, create this table now so done now let's uh, add some sample data here okay so add some data so let me let me insert some data okay so insert into project come on values so here guys <laughs> so here guys we are not going to add something for the first column because this is identity so we need to add this uh, two values okay so uh, the first one is going to be the project name so let's say uh, i'm writing something like account x then uh, the employee id let's say so how many employees we have so we have three employees right so uh, let me do something let me add employee id one here and let's create some more data here let's execute this so we are done so we have to create one store procedure to get the employee details as well as project details okay so let's create one store procedure create procedure let's name the store procedure as uh, something let's say employee uh, Project okay. as begin end okay, and then here we'll be writing our join query okay. So first let's get all the columns and then we'll be uh, choosing what we need actually. So, okay, select a star from employee EP inner join project okay let give so project p so what is the common column between these two tables so i think this is employee id okay so what we can do is ep dot employee id is equal to p dot employee id okay uh that looks fine uh let me just replace this star with uh, the value okay so what we can do is we can take ep dot employee id comma ep dot employee name comma ep dot i think city right comma ep dot date of joining so i'm taking all the columns from the employee table and then i will be taking the project name from the uh, project table okay so one two three four five i think one is missing what is the one column that we are missing so employee name city okay salary is missing so so we can take salary also so ep dot uh, salary 
comma and let's take the uh, project name from the project table okay so p dot project name okay let's first execute this to see exactly what we are getting and then we can create this as progress here okay okay so if you see we are getting uh employee as well as project okay so let me just do one thing order by ep dot employee name okay let's execute now and see okay so if you see pankaj has uh, three projects if you see right rahul has one project and rohan has two project right so ideally we are proceeding towards our actual requirement right so let's create this store procedure now so that is done now let's try to execute and see what exactly we are getting right so this is the store procedure which we are going to consume inside our uh .NET project okay so what we can do is we can write uh, exe and then our sp name so this is our sp name okay let's take this execute this so basically this does not uh, need any parameter input parameter because we are going to get all the records so let's execute it all right we are getting uh, all the details which is needed now let's consume this store procedure inside our dotnet project and display the data in form of json okay so there we are not going to display three names rather what we are going to do is uh, if you have seen the model right we'll have only one employee and inside that uh, we'll have three projects right so let's go so we are into our visual studio project okay so if you see we are going to add the uh, interface method as well as uh, we are going to implement that inside repository okay so let me just add one method to this interface and our method is going to return the list of employee right so we can write list of employee let's uh, name the method as a uh, it employees and projects okay that's it so basically this does not need any input parameter so we are going to just uh, get the list of uh, employees okay let's implement this method inside uh, repository okay let's go to the employee repository and then uh, let's implement this method so let me just write public return type is going to be the list of employee okay so let's take that and you need to give the exact same name so let's see what is the name we have given here so this is the method name so let's keep that method name here and let's try implementing it okay we are going to use uh, adio.net uh, to implement it okay so using sql connection we are going to use okay let's name this as connection is equal to new sql connection okay. we can write connection dot connection string okay is equal to and we can give our connection string so we can find it uh, from this uh, application setting dot json file so we can take this entire thing okay so let's replace this right with the connection string that we have copied so that is our connection string right now what you have to do is we have to open this connection so you have to write connection dot open okay and then let's use the sql command so we can write sql command cmd is equal to new sql command and then we can uh, give the store procedure name that we are going to read actually so the name is going to be this right so let's keep it here and then you have to provide the second parameter as connection here okay so far so good so now let's try to read this store procedure so we will be writing using sql data reader okay Yes. So we have to populate our data for every record, right? What we can do is we can write while reader dot read, okay? And then here we have to populate our employee. So guys, if you see this a store procedure is going to return you the result in this way, okay? But but what we want actually is we want uh, one record for employee, and that employee record should have more than one project, okay? So list of projects. So for that, what we have to do is we have to actually take one uh, dictionary okay and then we have to check uh, every time whether this uh, employee id is existing in the dictionary or not if that does not exist then we are going to add the employee and at the last we are going to add the projects for that dictionary key okay so let's see how you can do it we can create one dictionary okay and that dictionary will have a key as integer and then value is going to be the employee okay uh let's say dict employee the dictionary name which i am going to keep and then 
name that's, that's fine okay now when you read through this uh, record what you have to first do is let's uh, take this uh, employee id value here okay we can write var employee id is equal to this we can write reader and then we can pass the employee id here so that will have the value of the employee id so this is integer right so you have to write something like int so now what we can do is we can write uh, one if condition and then we can check if the dictionary has this value so what we can check is uh, if the dictionary does not have this key then only we are going to store it right so which is our dictionary so this is our dictionary right so we can check not this dictionary dot contains key and we are going to pass this employee id okay so if the dictionary does not have this then only we are going to add the record to the dictionary okay now uh we do have employee id already right so what we can do is uh, first let's create the uh employee object because we have to add the employee to this dictionary so what we can write where employee is equal to new employee okay and the first one is uh, employee id so we can simply assign this value here okay so employee id what is the next employee name right so employee name is going to be we are going to use the reader the way we have done it here okay so we can write reader and then uh, you can take the value from here okay so this is employee name right so you have to give it like this employee name so this is this should match with your uh, column name of the table right and uh, then you can use dot to string since this is a string okay and let's do it for salary so you can write reader then salary okay and then you have to convert that to decimal right so you can write something like decimal okay we are good with salary as well what is the next thing city right so city is equal to uh reader reader and then give that city dot to a string so city is also a string now the next thing is date of joining okay so date of joining is equal to reader and uh, we need to take date of joining right so uh let's go here and let's copy this copy with headers I will take this state of joining here and you have to cast it as date time okay because this is uh, in date time format so only data member that is left as of now is uh, i think uh, projects okay so we are not going to assign the projects here rather we are going to do it later so we can simply take the projects here so we are not going to read the project uh, as of now from the store procedure rather we can do is new list of string okay so that is fine guys so what will happen so for the first record of the store procedure what will happen it will go inside this because there is nothing stored in the dictionary as of now it will populate the employee and for the second time when it comes inside this for the same uh, employee it will not go inside it because we already have a stored the employee id okay? so that is also something we have to do it here so uh this is fine right now here you have to add this into your dictionary so what you can do is you can write dictionary dot add okay and you can add the employee id as well as this employee object okay so only remaining thing here is we have to add the projects for each employee okay so one employee can have multiple projects right so let's do that and we can take the employee id okay so employee id then dot projects okay dot add and then guys inside add we can use our reader and then what we are going to read here is the project name right so uh, this is something that we are going to read so let's take these values so this is the project name okay so let's keep it here and then we have to convert this to a string also because this is our string 
so that looks fine as of now but the only thing is we have to return the uh, list not the dictionary okay so for that what we can do is let's uh, declare one list of employee here so list of employee employees is equal to none and then we can populate this uh, employees here uh, inside this let's go inside here and uh, let's write something like uh, employees dot add range so we are simply converting the dictionary value to the uh, list of employees okay so dict employee dot values okay now let's return this employees return employees okay cool now we can consume this method from the controller so let's create one simple uh, http get method public action result uh let's uh, name the method as same okay that's fine now uh what we can do is we can write where result is equal to let's call that uh, interface and let's call that method so our method is get employees and projects right so i think the last one that's fine let's return here return okay result that's fine now let's uh put a breakpoint here we are going to see what exactly it is returning so let's put a breakpoint uh, here also okay now let's run our project so here we have uh, this is the endpoint that we have created right so let's try it out let's execute it so that it will hit the breakpoint okay let's continue okay so we are inside our repository method okay okay it has made the connection now it is going to read the store procedure value okay so where's the employee id we got we got one right so it will go inside it because as of now dictionary does not have this employee id so it has gone inside this okay it has added to the dictionary okay but if you see guys uh we do not have the projects count as of now right we do not have the projects so that is something happening here right so let's see so now what happened to this dictionary let's see what is the value of the project now as of now so project of so if you see the project count is one now when it comes for the next time it, it has not gone inside it because employee id one already exists if you see the employee id is one now it will simply add the project here okay so let's see that so if you see the dictionary now value you can see the project count has been increased to two okay so you are getting two projects here right so i think uh we should uh simply execute it because i think it will work for uh, all the employees let's simply continue it to see what exactly response we are getting in the swagger okay okay probably because uh i think uh, we have given here as null right we have initialized that with null so let's initialize that with a new list of employee okay now let's uh, save it and run again okay let's execute okay uh i'm just putting a breakpoint here so that we can say simply what employees record we are getting okay so i think uh, i've got the record of employees let's see so we are having three employees okay and each employee will have the projects so if you see employee id one has three projects so exactly what uh, we are supposed to get let's continue so here you go you got the response so if you see guys exactly what uh, his requirement was to get the employee as well as the projects uh, for each employee okay so that is something that we have achieved so i think uh, that's all from the today's session so thank you for watching uh, we'll meet up in the next video till then bye bye take care